Hello everyone, for a very long time I have been watching, doubting to get this game, the living card game Arkham Horror. Um, yeah, I was like, I am almost done with Game of Thrones, Lord, uh, Legend of the Five Rings, I'm busy with Lord of the Rings right now, and Star Wars is hardly available. Let's just start a new living card game and it is from Fantasy Flight Games just like the other ones and this is a single player or multiplayer game and I wanted to start the video with a quote from HP Lovecraft I uh, looked it up uh, found a nice little quote and apparently the quote is right here as well the oldest and strongest emotion of mankind is fear and the oldest and strongest kind of fear is fear of the unknown very very fitting and this is of course um, yeah heavily inspired by HP Lovecraft uh, by the Cthulhu mythos and other uh, horror stories supernatural terror as they say a game of arcane mystery now then what is in the game we have, of course, the scenarios, and we will not go over them. I um, would love to film this as a single-player experience, but then again, I'm also still wanting to film the Lord of the Rings solo playthrough, and I haven't gotten around to it yet, so I will do that first. Um, and since I'm almost done with my study for the year, I will simply do that soon summer months right we have a rules booklet a learn to play but then again there's also a video learn to play a tutorial from fantasy flight games so i will just be using that then we have some punch out tokens here quite some tokens all different ones and when you flip them there's even more different ones um and of course the cards themselves now then we have some smaller cards here uh, it's just like the uh, same size as the Honored and Dishonored cards for Legend of the Five Rings. Um, we have a uh, little pouch here, a little bag with a uh, pentagram uh, thingy on it. I don't know what it's for, but it probably is for some of those tokens that we just saw. Then we have... Uh, the players, uh, well, actually the characters, the character cards, um, some regular play cards, and the scenarios. So let's go over these cards first. And let's go over them in order. So we have Roland Banks, and he is the fad. He's an agency detective. Um, I'm not going over the effects right now because I don't know what it means yet. I am going to play it tonight, actually. That's the whole reason. That's the... Ah, that is just to justify why I bought it. We were looking for a new game to play. And we were both like, well, that game. Just pick it up and we can play it. So, Roland Banks. And on the back here, there is... Uh, oh, deck building requirements. Options. Oh, interesting. Um... So the card itself, I I'm, I'm, I wonder if uh, the other cards have different rules for deck building. And some story here, because it's uh, all about the story. So we have Roland's point, uh, thirty-eight Special, which is an item uh, weapon firearm. Uh, cover Up is a treachery card, a weakness. I'm not really sure what one is at the moment, but uh, when I'm filming uh, another um, pack opening of this, I will know what it means, because then I have played it. Uh, Silver Twilight Acolyte, Acolyte uh, basic weakness, alright. Point forty-five automatic, just a gun. Physical training, beat cop, first aid, machete, uh, guard dog, we have Evidence, Dodge, Dynamite Blast, Vicious Blow, Magnifying Glass, Old Book of Lore, 
a research librarian, uh, Dr. Mylan Christopher, hyper awareness, medical texts, uh, mind over matter, working a mon uh, uh, working a hunch, barricade, uh, deduction. We have a knife. We have several knives. Flashlights, two of them. We have an emergency cache. Also two of them. Guts. Manual dexterity. And we have a round sequence for the guy. And actions. Alright, so um, I already saw a symbol up here. I'm guessing that other expansions expand on these characters with these symbols maybe a new character for that symbol with new abilities probably i think maybe hmm. i don't know i haven't played it yet and this is probably universal everyone can use it hmm. who knows so that's uh, character number one the second one is daisy walker the librarian oh she has actually the globe oh so you can mix and match hmm interesting I'll just be using some of the uh, advised beginner decks if they are in here normally fantasy uh, fantasy flight games puts some beginner deck lists in here in their rules to just uh, yeah get to know the game oh my god <sighs> There we go. Right, the librarian. My girlfriend, she wants to play this one. Daisy Walker. Uh, also 30, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. There are two icons here. All right, that makes sense. It's a little bit of a mix. Uh, Daisy's tote bag. We have the Necronomicon. Of course, it's a book for the librarian. Paranoia, Magnifying Glass, uh, Old Book of Lore, Research uh, Librarian, Dr. Mylan Christopher, Hyper Awareness, uh, Medical Texts, Mind Over Matter, Working a Hunch, Barricade, Deduction, We have Forbidden Knowledge, Holy Rosary, Shriveling, Scrying, Arcane Studies, Arcane Initiates, Drawn to the Flame, Ward of Protection, Blinding Light, Fearless, Knife, Flashlight, Emergency Cash, Perception, and Manual Dexterity. Another rounds sequence card as well. Then we have Skidzo Tool, which is the XCON. Alright. Okay, I'm just gonna get my knife out. This is just too annoying. Right. Um, I also wonder how many cards um, you can play in a deck. What is a playset? Is it uh, three? Is it four? I don't know. Usually it's three. But in other games like Star Wars, you can only pick two of the same set. Because all the cards in there are fixed. Um, right. So we have the Consman. Yeah, the yeah, X-Con. Uh, all right, so ooh, let's see what we get. We get On the Lamb, Hospital Deaths, Mob Enforcer, uh, Switchblade, Burglary, Pickpocketing, uh, Point 41 Derringer, Leo De Luca, Hard Knocks, Elusive, Backstab, Sneak Attack, Opportunist, Point 45 Automatic, Physical Training, Beat Cop, First Aid, Machete, Guard Dog, Evidence, Dodge, A Dynamite Blast, Vicious Blow, A Knife, yeah, these are just the same in all the decks so far, yep, oh, and Overpower, we didn't see that one yet. And, of course, another round sequence card. All right. Next up, the Waitress. 
and the waitress, her name is Agnes Baker. And she also has like two. I think they all have uh, that. Makes sense though. Why would you put another card in there? Um, the Heirloom of Hyperborea. Dark Memory. Haunted. Forbidden Knowledge. Yeah, these are just... Uh, I see that half of the deck is like um, belonging to the character and it's exactly the same as the cards in uh, different in a different deck so we haven't seen this stack yet leather coat scavenging baseball bat rabbit's foot stray cat Ooh, it looks scary um, dig deep cunning distraction look what I found lucky survival instinct and the standard batch of cards Perception and unexpected courage. Okay. Right. And then finally, uh, we get Wendy Adams, the urchin. And then there's another, another stack of cards. And I wonder what that means. I mean, is it just an expansion on the deck? Can you build your own deck with that? Or some other uh, stuff Wendy's amulet uh, abandoned and alone amnesia and then we have the stack of cards that we just saw and we also saw this one as well all right we had knives flashlights emergency cash overpower and unexpected courage right so these are the player decks then we have a whole stack of cards here extra ammunition and it's basically the same back as well same back as the other cards so let's have a look here what it is but i expect it to be extra cards for customization and I'm guessing, because this is the core set, I'm guessing just like any other or most other Fantasy Flight games, you need two or three core sets. Most of them are three, only Star Wars is two. So we get an extra ammunition, a police badge, you know, well, I'll just do it like this. Police badge, okay, so we get two of each. Beat Cop, again, Shotgun, First Aid, I've had worse magnifying glass, and this is with a different uh, cost and everything. It's an upgraded ma uh, magnifying glass. I have seen that uh, somewhere floating around. I don't know how that works. Disc of Idzamna. Encyclopedia. We have a cryptic research. Seeking answers. The old book of lore, which costs three normally, and this is now two. So, yeah, there should be like an upgrade mechanism in here. Uh, Leo De Luca, Cat Burglar, Sure Gamble, Hot Streak, Lockpicks, uh, Point 41 uh, Derringer, Mind Wipe, Blinding Light, Book of Shadows, Grotesque Statue, Rite of Seeking. Scrying. Um, Aquina. Close call. Lucky. The will to survive. Another Aquina. Huh. Okay. Oh, it's a different. Uh, it is a different card. One of them is cost five and the others cost four. All right. Interesting. Um, you catastrophe. We have a bulletproof vest, the Elder Sign Amulet, Emergency Cash, Charisma, Relic Hunter, Amnesia, Paranoia, Psychosis, uh, Hypochondria, and we have Stubborn Detective. All right, interesting. Then we have the cards for. Um, the scenarios and I am doubting will I 
be opening them or will I just see it as I play it? Ah, it wouldn't be an opening if I just leave it like that. Um, all right, so we have some uh, cards here. What's going on? Uh, Rise of the Ghouls, they're getting out. Okay, so I'm just flicking through these. The study, hallway, attic, cellar, parlor, a ghoul priest, Lita Chandler, flesh eater, icy ghoul, swarm of rats, ghoul minion, ravenous ghoul, grasping hands, rotting remains, frozen in fear, dissonant voices, ancient evils, oh there it is, oh my goodness. Crypt chill and obscuring fog. Ooh. And then the next one, which is the Midnight Masks. We also have several difficulties. And I really like the back here. Look at that. Beautiful. So we have an easy and standard mode, and the other one is hard and expert. All right. Uh, predator or prey? Uh, time is running short. Uncovering the conspiracy. Your house. Rivertown. Southside. Southside. St. Mary's Hospital. Uh, Miskatonic University. Downtown. East Town. Graveyard. North Side. Hunting Shadow. False Lead. Acolyte. Wizard of the Order. Mysterious Chanting. Hunting Night Gaunt, On Wings of Darkness, Locked Door, Wolfman Drew, Ermin uh, Collins, Peter Warren, Victoria Devereaux, and Ruth Turner. All right, I'm not going to take a look at these cards for very long because I want to keep it, most of it, a secret for myself. I'm not going to look at these cards and ponder about them. Then we have the devour the, the wow the devourer below, um, the Arkham Woods. The ritual begins. Vengeance awaits. Investigating the trail into the darkness, disrupting the ritual. Main path, Arkham Woods. Oh, there's quite some Arkham Woods. Ritual site, Umorthos. Umorthos wrath. Screeching Byaki. The Yellow Sign, Yithian Observer, Offer of Power, Relentless Dark Young, The Goat Spawn, A Young Deep One, Dreams of Relay, and that's that. All right, and then of course we have these little cards here, and I don't know what these are yet, but I will of course play the game. And these are of course the characters that we have. And on the back side they are greyed out. I'm guessing that has to do with actions or something. Um, yeah, but there's that. That's the Arkham Horrors, uh, the card game, core set. And I'm really looking forward to just playing this. Um, yeah, and just getting Again, really getting into this, really getting into the lore. I'm really anxious to, to just read the Cthulhu mythos as well, to get some background information, maybe see some uh, Easter eggs and everything. Yeah, I like it. I really do like it. So thank you all for watching and see you all next time. Bye bye.